Let the magic begin. Roads go ever, ever on To the lands beyond the sea If you never say hello Greetings and welcome to the Adventures of Fallon Frisky. My name is Cloak, episode number 15. Today we take on the ultimate heist for the Thieves Guild. The Grey Fox is waiting inside. Very you're looking for. I'm sure I don't. So anyway, the Grey Fox should be in here as the man said. We'll see what he wants and we'll work on the ultimate heist as it's called. All I gotta do is find him. Ah, there he is. Grey Fox? Are you ready for one last great heist? Heist? Sure. Vampires again? You better not. This is the big one. This is the heist that will be written about and talked about for decades to come. Really? We are going to steal one of the Elder Scrolls from the Imperial Palace. Oh, now that's a dumb I'm idea. This challenge. How much is the buyer paying? There is no buyer. What? This is for glory, not for money. Our names will become legend. I also have a personal need for this particular scroll. As for your compensation, I ask you to trust me. If my plan works, you will get a reward worth far more than mere money. Are you insane? It's a... Are you nuts? An Elder Scroll? You can't even read the damn thing! <sighs> Fine, when do we start? Capital. I have worked for 11 years planning this heist. Oh. Sevilla's stone provided Kay. the last bit of information I needed. What am I supposed to do then? The Elder Scrolls are kept in the Imperial Palace. Duh. Behind a door that cannot be breached. Sevilla's stone has revealed a path around this door. Oh, okay. You will have to travel the old way. Once used as an escape route for Imperial Emperors, it has been forgotten oh, for no. centuries. To unseal the entrance, you must sneak into the basement of the palace and activate the glass of time. Whatever that is. You don't know? Where's the actual entrance? In the Imperial sewers. Uh... Ah. to that section of the sewers. I picked the pocket of Okato himself to get it. What is the old way? My scrying with Sevilla's stone has provided clues, but not the details. I know the tools you will need there, but not the obstacles themselves. This is very helpful, buddy. The boots of spring -Heel Jack will allow you to leap to an unreachable place. They will also protect you from a long fall. The arrow of extrication is the only way to unlock the final door. Take them both. Is that all you know? That better not be all you know. Once you're inside the palace itself, you need to find the reading room. The blind priests will deliver a scroll to you there. And how'd you manage that? I arranged for the notable Celia Cameron to want to read a particular Elder Scroll. Don't ask how. However, she will be unavoidably detained. You... We'll take her place. Do not speak to the priests. They're blindfolded and will not realize it isn't her unless you speak. As the guildmaster, I am waiving blood price for anyone you kill during this heist. However, I can't stop the watch from putting a price on your head. <sighs> well, we're going to have a body count now, aren't we? Thank you. I've written it down for you in this book chosen you because you are the best yeah Go and i'm gonna read the book yeah sure i'm gonna do that no i'm not <sighs> crap okay let's read the quest log here what does wacko want first step i must infiltrate the basement and activate the glass of time Oh, let me think. That's probably a very large hourglass that's sitting in the basement. I poked around the basement once, and that's what I found before they arrested me. 
I didn't record the moment, but oh well, pity I didn't. I didn't think it was worth showing me goof around any between the episodes, so. Hello. All right. Just crawl down in there. Trespassing in the Imperial. Palace is strictly forbidden. Yeah, well, guess what we're about to do? This is not a good idea. I mean, on a list of 1 to 10 for bad ideas, this is sitting up there with a 10. This is so bad. I mean, first off, we're going to steal an Elder Scroll. I don't know why you even want to do that. I already showed you what happens if you try to read it. Bad, bad idea. Probably should have took time out to buy lockpicks. Oh, well. Oh, cool. Never mind. One shot. There's a guard down here. He'll probably just arrest me on the spot. <laughs> you don't see me. You don't see me. You didn't see me. I wasn't here. It's supposed to be a large hourglass somewhere. Oh, wow. That's a chair. Dang. Oh, there's an hourglass. Oh, hold on. Okay, just... I've activated the glass of time. According to the Gray Fox, the door of the old way in the Imperial sewers should now be open. I just have to find it. Okay, follow the red arrow when I get out of here to find that location. Okay, innocent looking area. All citizens are welcome in the Imperial <sighs> Bring up the map real quick, see where it is. Okay. It's outside the palace, that's good. All citizens are welcome in the Imperial Palace. At least <sighs> I hope he's got a good reason for wanting this Elder Scroll. Remember, Even if he steals it, I don't know how he's going to read it. In a previous episode, I showed what happens if you try to read one from Skyrim. You unroll the thing and just flashes the screen. There is a good reason why the Moth Priests are blind. Just get visions. Okay, that way. I will ro walk around this district first. <laughs> but it's not exactly something you should go out of your way to get. I'm pleased to see you again. Oh, rolling from the vampire quest. If I had to guess what he's doing, he's probably trying to find a way to break the curse on the cowl he's wearing. So that he can have his name back. It's just my assumption. That's the only reason, off the top of my head, I can think of for why he might want to steal something so dangerously hard to read. That's probably it. Crawl through the frickin' sewer. Yeah, because I love this part. I'll just, you know what, we're just gonna walk the sewer like a smash and grab. We already know it's probably down here. Bring on the rats and other crap. Always the easy locks to give me more trouble. Alright. Yo, oh, rodent. Start the game off fighting rats. You basically probably end the game fighting rats. Let's play with this thingy. Crawl through the muck and the mire. Mud crabs. A fireball spell. Beneath the bloodworks. Hmm, wonder where that's at. Hardly helpful, by the way. Thanks, though. 
Hmm. That's a bad omen. Let's see, he's burning, so he's probably pretty recent. Um, apparently they want me to go through the gate. Let's check back here for stuff first. Okay, a box. Easy lock. Golden lock picks. Gar garlic. Huh. Garlic. Bodies. Oh, uh, let me think. Another vampire, perhaps? That's what that up there might be. Because the gray fox is really into the weird stuff. I'm just gonna shoot you. Just gonna assume you're one of the gray fox's playmates. Yep. Another playmate, the gray fox. Cure disease. Good potion to have, particularly when you're under vampires if you don't want vampirism. On reflection, I should have just, you know, allowed myself to become a vampire by Valtori. That would make this a little less worrisome. Really don't like poking around where there's vampires. Very active vampires, apparently. Pair mallet. What's that? Oh boy. What's that? Nothing you need to worry about, playmate. Cat with a bow. No idea what that turn it crank did, but I guess it doesn't matter. Crawling through. How many times did I crawl through the sewer, too? It's like three or four since the beginning of the game. The difference is I can't blame all this on the Gray Fox. So I've been in the sewer quite a bit even before I met him. Go ahead, say rat. I dare you, say rat. Steel arrows, I'll take those, thanks. Dwarven dagger. Nice price tag on it. It's a heavy dagger. So apparently the Imperial City has a vampire infestation problem. Big surprise. There we go. And it's circled back. That's dandy. Maybe it's up the uh, stairs then. Southern tunnel. A rat! Oh, yes. The rat sees me where the vampires don't. Glitchy rodent here. Shooting the rat in the face. Getting a feeling I might be going backward now, though. Actually, I think I know where this goes. Waterfront. Yep. This probably goes to where you exit the sewer in the first place. I don't remember it too well, though. Getting the feeling this is not it. So after a little bit of checking, I was apparently already in this area. This might take a bit. Yep, 
Yeah, I know, I know. I'll see you when I get to where I need to be. Okay. So I think I'm on the right track now. It should be this way through here. And then there should be a passage to where I'm supposed to go, where that green arrow is leading. However, it wouldn't be the same without having to kill a vampire. Goodbye, other relation or whatnot of the Gray Fox. You must collect these damn things. You need a key. I should have the key. I found the sewer entrance that the Gray Fox told me to look for. Now I need to find the old way. More sewer. Oh look, another vampire. At least you died on your box. Little playmates of the Gray Fox. Oh look, another one. I've been making fun of the Gray Fox for hanging out with vampires and having vampire-related quests. But now I'm starting to get seriously concerned about it, actually. What's that? Oh, no. Another vampire. It would be... incomplete without more vampires. Gray Fox Playmate. Maybe he wants to use it to become a vampire. Well... This room looks familiar. I think we've seen one just like it in a previous Dark Brotherhood quest. Crap dripping from the ceiling, apparently. Fish of some sort. Wonderful. Vampire! Here, vampires! Oh, another one. It's two rooms. Mud crabs are very attentive, apparently. Walk in the room, he knew I was there. He said to open the gate. Cure disease, never know when you'll need that. Take both of those just for the giggle. It's the old way. I found the old way. It is clearly a long, abandoned sub-basement of the Imperial City. It looks like it's going to be a long journey to get to the Imperial Palace. It's already been a long journey! What more? More vampires? Good grief, there's been more vampires going on here than in the Dawn Guard expansion. Oh, a zombie! Well, that's child's play. And get my arrow back. Another dang zombie. Catch. And traps, apparently. Good thing zombies are willing to trip those for you. Trap. Okay, come on. Average locks should not take that many that many picks. Period. Iron arrows, trash. All that for empty crap box. This is turning into a dungeon crawl, and I get sick of dungeon crawls real quickly. And I'm sick of it. Here, beastie, 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 beastie. Easy door, huh? Security 44, and the door didn't just open automatically. 
Yay, rats and zombies. Just what the doctor ordered. I'll eat the rat meat just because I'm a cat. It makes more sense that way, doesn't it? Old way? Old way. Alright. Let me see. This one's locked. This is clearly something important. Now it works. Skeleton! And a ghost! You want to fight? Come here. Yeah. Yeah. We're not being stealthy anymore. It's really bad for when I run to guards. Sometimes you just get sick and tired of crawling through the dirt. Oh, there's a hole in the wall. Oh, okay, well... Thanks. Pity that didn't do the job. Turn around, ghosty. It's like I'd poke this chest though. It's probably just nothing in there. Pity, pity, pity. Another hole in the wall. And another ghost! Come here. Another useless box. Disease. And health. Jeez. Oh, Lost catacombs, apparently. Right, because we haven't been traveling through enough catacombs. You know, I've read somewhere that a lot of players thumbs up the uh, Thieves Guild in Oblivion, but they also thumbs down the Skyrim Thieves Guild in the process. But so far, the way this is, it's just... It's a damn dungeon crawl regardless. The difference is, this one you get to steal from people's houses and sell it to your fence just because the game decided it wanted padding. And then you do all these vampire quests for the, for the gray fox because he has some obsession for vampires. Some fetish almost. If I pop out in the Imperial Prison Cell, I'm going to be a little less than happy. Another rat. Ghosty, a couple skeletons. Kill the ghost first, because they cast spells. Then bump the skeleton off. Here, let's play a spell game. Oh, he didn't like that? Darn. Do they seriously expect us to believe that people actually use this to get around the city? And escape it in times of need? I don't even know why I'm checking the corpses. Bye, Squeaker. Ah, this room looks like it has problems, but it's got the same crappy enemies in it. What a waste! This is the part where the game tells me there's another way in here to the upper floor. I have to open those, isn't it? Or is this what the boots of Spring Hill Jack are for? Yep, no doubt. That's what the boots of Spring Hill Jack are for. Press the block. There's one over there, too. Uh. <laughs> Protects against falling damage. 
Liar! Oh, look. Something else down there. Zombie, vampire, or zombie? Because that's a great way to end one of these. Shooting zombies with arrows. Great. You can keep the other one. Another large room loaded with annoying corpse monsters, right? Well, for a moment I was going to be sneaky. Probably put the boots back on. There must be some secret way to open this door. I'll bet this is where I have to use the arrow of eradication. Most likely to have to be standing in a special place for the keyhole to open wide. 